hello literature lovers today i am going to discuss the overview of american literature and starting with the colonial literature and colonial period of that of america and to 1776 these were the cultural and european influence you can read it clearly and starting with and bread street and how she started to be the first poets to write english verses in american colonies and also the first american book published by a woman and second comes mary rolenston and the kept she is the captivity narrative describing the 12 weeks she spent in american indian americans and being attacked on her village and her prose work as an american woman and her work cotton mather is also type of it i'm talking about the revolutionary literature that started from 1776 to 1820 and how the poet philip margaret and followed by william cullen and h l mankin next comes philip wheatley and becoming one of the most notable poets of her age and the first african american writer to be noted and there is the her works are being discussed here clearly and next come the one of the most renowned writers of the era and james fanny mo cooper and mostly famous james cooper so his works really published in the name first book comes precaution 1820 and it was a conventional novel of english manners although it was not such a success as the spy and the american revolution and there are many works that really marked is uh, my one recommendation would be the story of the natty bampo and he's just the most famous character and also the leather stocking tales that really marked as a fashionable symbol of that period and the more renowned works are coming right now that is the washington irving and his works since he belonged to some very educated well to do family so his works are really more refined and talking about american literature clearly especially his work history of christopher columbus and talking about it in detail now comes the romantic period of in american context which arrived in 1820s and 1860s and it really marked the works of great american renaissance by r w emerson and h d thoreau walt whitman and herman mel not to forget margaret fuller and here the american writers talked about the self reliance and individualism and so making making it more stronger especially in massachusetts being the first to the artists and other works by them really marked it especially the thoreau's independence experiments in living individually and matters related to it not to forget walt whitman and his leaves of grass and also a song of myself which are very famous now comes a different kind of group that is the boston brahmins and it is also marked as one of the greatest works uh, and writers related to the scholar h w longfellow which really talked about it and here comes a really special author nathaniel hawthorne who was really most famous work which really marked as a milestone in american literature and my personal favorite the scarlet letter published 1850 this is really talking about the puritan era and the religious and sexual freedom being harassed by the society and it really talks about it and the novel is itself very interesting if you get a chance to read it never miss it and the movie based on it is also good and the older version is good not the new one now comes another very special writer and 
इट्स सो फेमस हवन मैलवेल एंड द मोस्ट फेमस एंड रिमेंबर्ड नावल इज मोबिडिक एंड इट इज़ ऑल्सो फेम्ड सो मैनी टाइम्स एंड नाउ कम्स अन द वेरी स्पेशल राइटर डेट इज मार्क ट्वेंस हकल बरी फिन एंड रियली टॉक्ड अबाउट वर्क एंड वेरी फेमस वी कैन टॉक अबाउट इट इन डिटेल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मोबिडिक एंड हाउ द टेल इज रियली बींग डिस्कस्ड here comes the h w longfellow the american poet and very celebrated one especially with his poetry and here comes e a po that is edward allen po and very famous works and my personal favorite is fall of the house of usher and that really marked a different kind of genre now feminism was also quite popular at that period and talking about margaret fuller being the first professional women journalist in america so we can see how society changed it. not to forget harriet burkers true and the famous work is uncle tom's cabin which really marked a different kind of genre and also sanjeev the truth also uh, with the work of narrative of sanjeev the truth it also related it now comes one of the very renowned artist poetist poetess also and that is emily dickinson and her work is really legendary one of a kind and my personal favorite and now comes the realism that is started from in the civil war in america and really took it to another level in 1860s to 1914s and there comes the emergence of mark twain and the meaning of this pseudonym of mark twain is started with the two fathoms deep and the phrase is very popular in the mississippi river so that really marked it of the tone and the very famous work and my personal favorite here is adventures of tom sawyer if you get a chance go for it it is really good i'm sure most of you would be aware of it and also not to forget adventures of huckleberry finn it is also super duper famous and very best selling work and especially mark twain's realism is unconventional and really marked will make your day if you get a chance to read it and since we are quite acquainted with the works here you can make your time very useful here next comes henry james and his works are quite lengthy but some of you would really like it especially my personal favorites are wings of the dove and the ambassador and not to forget the golden bowl so these works really marked it and not to forget turn of the shrew will really also good sara jewet another writer and dresser also very good and works are also quite good especially sister carry will really make it to, up to the mark being the first book verse of english literary influence and next comes villa carter katha and the works are also good you can have a look at it next comes robert frost and this american poet is out of the box and being the first literary success is with a boy's will and especially not to forget he has become the first poem to be read on the president's inaugural function so that really talks about it and the collection name is new hampshire and he is one the first four pulitzer prizes so that is an achievement of its own and my personal favorite also now another comes sinclair very renowned work especially the jungle and the context is quite related and also he also won pulitzer prize in fiction now comes a literary genre of its own that is chicago renaissance in which was led by edgar masters and carl sandson so another work which related to the modernism which started in 1920s to 1945 gertrude strain really marked it and later on by ernest hemingway who also won nobel prize 
and great work if the sun also rises not to forget walter scott and t s eliot and although t s eliot really belonged to britain since he remained there because of the civil war in america he shifted to england but still not to forget william faulkner being a nobel laureate and also john strandback he is also a nobel laureate so all both should be mentioned clearly being part of american literature louis sinclair also great is very famous for the babbitt series and aerosmith uh, winning pulitzer prizes so we can really talk about it o'neil being a nobel laureate marked his works and especially uh, pulitzer prize was also mentioned and my personal favorite is not to forget morning becomes electra the works are really great not to for next comes perlas buck she is also a nobel laureate and one of a kind because her chinese novels are really out of the box and mark you now comes f scott fitzgerald and his works really talking about the great gatsby one of the finest works and talking about the great american dream william faulkner also talking about the nobel laureate and the books are out of eight very famous work is sound and the furry so you can see how these works are being bifurcated and the variety is so rich and especially the locale they use here is filled with exclusive variety and he is talking about anas hemingway and his special and most one of the most famous work is sorry i missed it his very very famous work is not to forget farewell to arms my personal favorite never miss it and other works are also quite great and it is so filled so difficult to manage it not to forget old man and the sea and so many works being recognized all over the world vladimir nabokov a russian american novelist and his famous work is lolita that is really really famous and there are other varieties also that pale fire that also talking about uh, is a satire of an academic pretentiousness and 999 line poem is also told about here other works is also there nikolai gogol is also included here now here in detail we can see john steinbeck and his works are also discussed in detail and not to forget grapes of red winning pulitzer prize so that really marks his excellence now tennessee williams a one of a kind writer and two times pulitzer prize winner so you can see my personal favorite is the glass menagerie if you get a chance not miss it and also he also won in winning pulitzer for cat on a hot tin roof so the variety is quite vast and the works are countless now comes arthur miller having a different kind of genre my personal favorite that of salesman i read it almost 10 times so you can see how great this work is and the uh, many times i read it and teach it so really talking about it norman mela another work another author sorry and the variety is quite great you can see how they talked about it truman capold and my personal favorite here is breakfast at tiffany's so the work is vast john updike and especially the series that is the rabbit series that is very famous winning pulitzer prize in continuous succession so you can see now here comes the rise of african american literature and the variety is so vast and that also led to harlem renaissance and how the authors like zora neale hudson uh, really marked their way in literature since then and it's talking about the confessional poetry school and the main author which i recognize clearly that is sylvia plath and her work really marked it 
later on comes with the black mountain poets and the new york school another group of poets come the san francisco poets and the beat poets both of them really marked it next come the southern renaissance and the group is there and you can see how we can talk about the it and you can pause the the video in between and see it clearly and trying to summarize it next the malabar and the ib singer so both of them really marked this sol bello nobel laureate so we can't forget it at all and the work is quite vast and the variety is the sees the day is my personal favorite and humboldt's gift is also great if you get a chance go for it now comes kurt and his works are also good and next comes joseph heller and my personal favorite is catch 22 it's so famous it's one of the greatest work in black humor and never miss it it's one of a kind details are given you will get a get an overall view next comes philip roth the variety is one of a kind really especially jewish writers are really a talk of a town always and next come william talking about the pop mythologies and the routine is given and naked lunch jd selinger also very special author most famous work is catcher in the rye so the works is very vast albert alby really famous dramatist winning the most pulitzer till date and it's really vast variety and i'm sure you must have got an overall picture I'm, it was quite fast but you can pause the video in between get an overall view thanks for being part of it